Everybody. We are Solar Wheels. My name is Kevin Chan. I'm Keith Gladstone. I'm Ian Nacarella. And I'm William Yen. Now, the problem that we're faced with is that electricity providers are concerned that the mass adoption of electric vehicles by the market will place a strain on the electrical grid. See, the grid doesn't actually have the ability to store energy. You have to match supply with demand. And this is complicated enough when you don't take into account the huge surge in demand that will occur between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. is people get home from work and want to charge their electric vehicles. You see, charging an electric vehicle requires a large amount of energy. It's like adding another air conditioning system to your house. It increases the average energy consumption of a home by over 50%. Therefore, we had to come up with a way to <coughs> provide data to electricity providers to allow them to coordinate the charging of electric vehicles with the integration of renewable energy sources onto the grid. Another problem we're dealing with is ineffective marketing. Not enough people know enough about electric vehicles and suffer from problems on the road such as range anxiety. This is when a driver of an electric vehicle is on the road for an extended period of time and worries about the battery running out. With more knowledge on the subject, they'll have more faith in the electric vehicles. Our solution to both of these problems is a car sharing business that we call Solar Wheels. Car sharing businesses place an emphasis on high accessibility to mutually held vehicles which can be rented for a couple hours up to a day. Car sharing businesses aim to provide users with all the conveniences of car ownership like accessibility and convenience without any of the headache like maintenance. We will be using electric vehicles like the Chevy Volt uh, so that we can act as a research platform for electrical providers uh, through which they can obtain important demographic and usage information. And we will also serve to enhance the marketing programs of car manufacturers who are trying to seek better brand recognition for their electric vehicles. Now, we decided to choose Jersey City as our starting uh, city for our business for a few reasons. One reason is because it has a varied amount of users in that area. One type of user is called a taxi user. These are those who will spontaneously rent our vehicles for just a few hours. And then there are the habit users. These are the people who will be replacing our replacing their means of transportation with our vehicles. We're trying to attract a niche uh, market of early adopters. Um, these people consist of those who are technologically savvy and environmentally aware. We are doing this by having a fleet of 10 Chevrolet Volts, which are plug-in uh, hybrid electric vehicles, which have a 40 mile range on electrical power and an added 400 mile range if it's running on its gasoline generator. All of our cars will be charged through a solar canopy, which consists of 100 solar cells. Now, our market analysis showed us that the health of the overall car rental industry is directly correlated with the health of the overall economy. And as you can see from this chart, um, the three major indices of the United States economy, the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and the S&P 500, have all been increasing steadily since the 2008 to 2009 recession. Also, many experts in the field rank uh, Zipcar and Hertz and Enterprise and other car rental in, uh, companies as buys or holds, indicating that they believe that the market will continue to grow in the future. Solar Wheels is up against various forms of competition. Being located in the metropolitan Jersey City area means that many people choose to take public transportation over car rental services. In addition, there's already car rental services out there like Hertz Enterprise and Avis, and car sharing services like Zipcar. 
Furthermore, people who own cars themselves don't necessarily need our service, so we have to account for that and target people who need our service the most. Our company will differentiate itself from other car rental and car sharing companies in three major ways. The first major way is that we are attracting a very specific demographic group, the environmentally friendly and the technologically savvy. The environmentally friendly are going to be keen to adopt any new habits or technologies that will help the environment. Car sharing in and of itself is environmentally friendly because you can consolidate a large number of drivers onto one car. For example, Zipcar is able to have 78 drivers share one car, so you're effectively removing 77 cars on the road, which drastically improves the air quality in urban environments and also alleviates congestion. The technologically savvy users we are targeting will also be keen to use the new technology that we're introducing, like the Chevy Volt, and we are relying on both of these demographic groups to spread the word to their friends, tell their friends about our business, tell their friends about the technologies that we are using so that we can improve our customer base and report more uh, accurate data to electric providers. We are also targeting two rapidly growing markets, the car sharing market as shown by the acquisition of Philly Car Share, a car sharing business down in Philadelphia uh, by enterprise rental companies. And we are also targeting the electric car uh, industry as shown by the, and which is also on the rise, as shown by the large investments that are being made by car manufacturers to improve the range and efficiency of electric vehicles. We are also offering a cheaper alternative to car ownership. Uh, if a user were to rent our cars for 365 days a year for four hours a day, it would cost them around $9,000. By comparison, the cost of owning a a uh, Honda Accord annually is around $11,000, so we are offering a cheap alternative to car ownership. Now, how are we going to market our service? We're going to do that in two main ways. First of all, we're going to use the more common method of Facebook and Twitter. Maybe we'll offer discounts to people who friend us on Facebook or who follow us on Twitter. And maybe to establish customer loyalty, we might offer rewards to people who share our link with their friends on Facebook or something along those lines. Our second and more major way of advertising our service will be the visual presence that we're going to have. So imagine you've come out of the Liberty Science Center and in the parking lot there's a solar canopy and seven or eight Chevy Volts are charging underneath it. Would you go and maybe try to find out more about this service? Also, we're going to be distributing charging stations throughout the high traffic areas of Jersey City. We hope that the visual appeal of all of these put together will attract customers to our service. Now for some numbers, as you can see on the slide, our first year costs come out to be about $769,000. Um, it's broken down in the table below. The solar arrays was calculated by an estimate from PSENG at $5 a watt. The initial fee was calculated using <coughs> SRP values of uh, the Chevrolet Volt. A uh, charging station was given as an estimate also by PSENG. Uh, maintenance was calculated by going through the charts of Motor Trends magazine. And finally, leasing was calculated by uh, taking the average of various listings around the Jersey City area. The sources of our income include the actual rental of the cars, advertisement on the cars, and aspects which are solar, uh, solar energy renewable certificates. Uh, we calculated rental by taking Zipcar's current rates and scaling it down to fit our business model. Uh, advertisements was given to us as an estimate from one of our professors, Mr. Marcus Cruz. And SREX are currently running at about $300 per SREC. An SREC is a form of, it's, it's a medium through which an electric provider can show the federal government how much they have invested in solar renewable energy. The government sets a mandated amount of SREX that must be obtained by every electric provider at the end of the year. And these electric providers can obtain SREX through two different ways. The first way is that they can produce electric energy from solar cells and they get one SREX for every solar for every megawatt of energy they produce. The other way is they can buy SREX from electric companies that have a surplus of these SREX. And the price of SREX are anticipated to go up as the government is about to raise the amount of SREX that is required of each electric provider. Now using all of these numbers, we calculated our anticipated average profits per year to be $231,000. Uh, 
With this figure, we can calculate our break-even point, which turns out to be the third quarter of the fourth fiscal year. To support our claim that the uh, car rental and car sharing industries are on the rise, we have a quote here from Ivers World, um, which says that revived domestic air travel will support growth in the car rental industry. And this makes sense because, as we said before, as more people begin to travel for both business and leisure, they're obviously going to need to rent more cars to get to the places where they need to be. We also have a very interesting prediction here from McKinsey Consultancies, which predicts that inadequate preparation of the grid for the mass adoption of electric cars and other high load utilities may cost society up to $100 <coughs> billion. So this is a very important issue and we're trying to solve it. Now I know the question that everyone's wondering right now is where are we going to get the funding to start up this company? We have two main sources of funding lined up right now. One is a federal grant known as the Small Business Innovation Research Grant. You get $100,000 if you get the Phase 1 grant and $450,000 if you get the Phase 2 grant. So we're probably going to apply for that grant. Our second major source of funding will be from angel investors. Angel investors are people who've made it. People who want to use their experience to help small businesses like ours get started up. So we're going to apply to attend an angel fair and then hope to benefit from the experience and advice of these angel investors as well as from their funding. We are currently developing a mobile application that will help users access our service more easily. So from wherever they are, they can reserve an electric vehicle by pressing the order button, which brings them to this screen where they input their current location and their destination, and this helps the server process an electric vehicle that's nearby them. On the next screen, uh, this is the confirmation of the reservation, and as seen in the clip from before, this is the QR code that unlocks the car. And we also provide an interactive map to help locate the car because it could be anywhere in the Jersey City area at this point. Um, we'd like to thank Professor Dunbar Bernie, Mr. Wayne Whitman, Ms. Nicole Swan, Mr. Storyon Lazarov, uh, Dean Eileen Rosen, uh, Jean Patrick Antoine, the Governor Board, the Governor's School Board of Overseers, Rutgers University, the State of New Jersey, Morgan Stanley, Lockheed Martin, South Jersey Industries, and PSENG for helping with this project. Any questions?